Hello Snow Grade 9. Today we will do probability exercise 15.1. First, we have to know the formula. So, probability of a, any event formula is H by N. PE equal to H by N. H stands for number of trials in which E has happened, the event has happened, and N means total number of trials. So, this is the formula. You have to remember we are going to use this formula in every question and some uh, important points the probability of a sure event event that is going to happen is always 1 and the probability of an impossible event is 0 if it is not going to happen is 0 and the value of probability always lies from 0 to 1 it cannot be less than 0 or it cannot be more than 1 it cannot be minus 1 minus 2 or um, minus 3 or it cannot be more than 1 means 1.5234 whatever it may be it cannot be more than 5 so always the probability of the probability of any event are from 0 to 1 any value from 0 to 1 okay let's do exercise to understand this formula better in a cricket a batsman hits a boundary six times out of 30 balls she plays find the probability that she did not hit boundary so if she is hitting the boundary 6 times out of 30 she is not hitting boundary 24 times so h will be 24 what will be n she played 30 balls total so n is 30 so probability formula is pe equal to h by n that is 24 by 30 cancel 6 4 time 6 5 time answer is 4 by 5 so you can pause the video and write the solution let's do question number 2 1500 families with 2 children were selected randomly and the following data were recorded number of girls in a family if the 2 girls in a family and the families there are 475 families uh, family with one girl there are 814 and family with no girl okay zero no girl is 211 so your question is compute the probability of a family chosen at random having two girls so first do number one um, number of families having two girls is 475 so h is 475 and n is the total fam family survey was for 1500 so n will be 1500 if you find the total of this also 1500 will come if you find the total of this so total is 1500 pe is h by n so we can write 475 by 1500 second question one girl family number of families with one girl is 814 so second one is for one girl h is 814 and the total is total number of families is 1500 probability formula h by n okay so third is find the probability of a family having no girls so Family with no girls is 211 and the total number of family is 1500. So PE is H by N formula. So 211 by 1500. So we got the answer for all the three questions also. They are also asking, also check whether the sum of these probabilities is 1 or not. So if I add everything, is it 1 or not? We are going to check, okay. So we'll find the sum 475 by 1500 plus 814 by 1500 so 475 plus 814 plus 211 you edit you'll get 1500 so we're cancelling we're getting one so also check so we 
we're checking so we're getting one that means yes the sum is one okay that's the question number three question number three is refer to example 5 section 14.4 chapter 14 find the probability that the student of a class was born in august so we'll just go through this just show you example five, section 14.4 chapter 4, 14 so we'll just find the table there okay in exam time they won't give like that they will give you the table directly This is example 5, okay? That given the graph example 5, your question is find the probability of the student born in August. So, first you have to find the age. In August, just check how many students were born in August. If you see, in August, six students were born. Okay, here you see the graph six. So, and total, how many students are there? You can count in the graph, but it's directly given here 40 students. But if this is not given, you can count like that. This is like three, four, this is two, two, this is five, this is one, two, this is six, this is. Um, three, four, four, four. You add it, you'll get forty. Uh, Twelve, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty-four, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, forty. 15, 16, 17, 18, 24, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 40. So H is 40. Okay. Now find the probability. We're finding for the student born on August, okay? So 6 by 40. You can cancel 2 3 times, 2 20 times, so 3 by 20. This is the answer. Let's do question number 4. <clears throat> question number 4. Let's go to the question. Three coins are tossed simultaneously 200 times with the following frequency of different this one. Three head comes 23 times, two heads come 72 times, one head, one head is 77 times and no heads came 28 times. So if three coins are simultaneously tossed again, compute the probability of two heads coming up. So two heads 72 times. So H will be 72. And N will be, you are tossing the coin how many times? 200 times. And if they have not given this value, you will add this, all this, and you will get 200 times. So this is your total, okay? If they are not giving this value, you have to add everything and find the total. So N is 200 times. Why H is 72? We are finding for 2 heads. So that's why we are taking 2 heads, 72. So formula is PE equal to H by N that is 72 by 200. You can cancel, cancel it for 18 times for 50. Uh, 9, 2, 9 times, 2, 25 times. So 9 by 25. Let's do question number five. <clears throat> question number five. An organization selected 2,400 families at a random and surveyed them to determine a relationship between the income level and the number of vehicles in the family. And they have given the table here. They have given the table here, okay? So, it's like 
uh, family monthly income is seven thousand so they no zero means no vehicle ten families are there one vehicle one sixty families are there two vehicle twenty five families are there above two vehicle no one have okay likewise income from seven to ten thousand no vehicle one family one vehicle three hundred five family two vehicle seven twenty seven family the information is given like that so first question is this survey is done for 2400 family okay it's already given in the question so total is 2400 you have to remember so first question is earning 10 to 13,000 so earning 10 to 13,000 is here per month and weighing exactly two vehicle and also exactly two vehicles is this one 29 so for the first question H will be 29 and N will be total is 2400. So we can write for the first question H will be 29 and N will be 2400. So PE is H by N that is 29 by 2400. Let's go to the second question. Second question is earning 16,000 or more. This one, okay. Earning 16,000 or more per month and owes more than two vehicles. More than two vehicles is what is it? Sorry, are earning 16,000 or more per month and owes exactly one vehicle. Exactly one vehicle is this one. That means 279 earning more than 16,000 and have only one vehicle is 260 uh, 579 family so H is 579 for second question H is 579 and N is 2400 so PE equal to is your answer let's go to question number three earn less than seven thousand per month so this one less than seven thousand per month this line okay and does not owe any vehicle so there are ten family without vehicle who is earning less than seven thousand so third one h is ten and n is two four zero zero PE equal to H by N, 10 by 2400, 10 zero we can cut, so we can write 1 by 240. Let's go to fifth question. Question okay. Fifth, oh, sorry, fourth question. Earning thirteen thousand to sixteen thousand. So thirteen to sixteen is this one. Okay. Per month and was more than two vehicle. More than two vehicle. Thirteen to sixteen thousand and was more than two vehicles. So there are twenty five. Uh, more than two vehicles. Twenty five are there. So it should be twenty five. H is 25 and in N is 2400. So PE equal to H by N that is 25 by 2400. I think we can count by 5, 5, 5 time. 5, 4 time is 25, 8, 0. Again, 5, 1 time. 5, 9 is 45, 6. So 1 by 96. Okay. Let's do number five. Last question of this question. Number five. Was not more than one vehicle. Not more than one means you have to add everything. Okay, you have to add this also, this also. 
they're saying not more than one vehicle. It can be no vehicles or it can be one vehicle. We cannot use these two. So we'll add all this value. A 10 plus 1 plus 3 plus. You add this. 10 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 14. This total is 14. Now add this also. 9, 9, 18. 29, 7, 6, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 24, 5, 10, 14, 15, 16, 8 plus 14 so this is 8 12 5 6 1 uh, 2 0 6 2 okay we're adding not more than one vehicle means we have to add this value also this value also we cannot add these two as it, it says not more than one vehicle so this total is 14 and this total is 2048 if I add these two I'm getting 2062 so your age will be And N will be N will be two four zero zero. So PE will be H by N. Put the value two zero six two divided by two four zero zero. We can cancel by two. So your answer is one zero three one by one two zero zero. This is your final answer. Check everything. Post the video and write the solution. Thank you.